Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Just the tip and only for a minute, mind. We're going to go over this here Cartesian robot. It's a very rigid robot, also known as a CNC. And yes, paraphrasing Weisenstein, it's only as dumb as you make it, but no simpler. Something like that. I'm going to show you a couple tools now I cannot do without. And they are not the typical tools, which you think, you know, half inch end mill and so forth. Here's the first of them. This little guy is a fan. I got a lot of respect for professional machinists. Most of them run rings right around regular mortals because they actually build things. And the good ones are constantly thinking of better ways to do stuff, like maybe close the door before you turn on the coolant. As you can see, this thing makes a hell of a mess, goes through one whopping great load of milk. You can see, well, as I was saying, a good machinist always thinking of better ways to do things. Now this is a typical apre shift situation. Cleaning and probing tend to run roughly 20% of your day. So if you continually do things over and you find yourself doing the same thing over and over and over, this Cartesian robot has an opportunity there to automate some of those processes. Now I ain't the sharpest rocket in the bedside table. It took me about six months to do this, but eventually I caught on. As you can see, the fan is good at getting the big chunks off. If we're getting right in there, I use that copper dingus end. I'll show you here momentarily. Well, this one's just a copper pipe in a collet sealed up. This machine has through air blast, through spindle air blast, as well as through spindle coolant. Comes in super handy. So if you're looking at uh, a machine, it might be worth it to get the through. Well, actually you can, you can put it in after the fact for quite a bit cheaper than the factory supplies, but it, it depends if it's uh, your dimes or the banks or, you know. The other thing you can do with this, which is fantastic, is every time you open the doors and you got a part, you blow it off, right? So what I do, I treat this in fusion like an end mill, and then I go and do a profile of the part, pop over to uh, the handle, where the handle nut is, blast that off as well. That way I'm not getting drips and drabs of coolant all over my uh, lily white skin. Here's the Panametric fam from the usual scumbags. Now, you're supposed to ramp this up slow, max RPM 6,000, your mileage may vary. I just, uh, I just let her all she'll suffer, and you can see it's kind of, you know, going in and manually inputting S3000 into the program, and then S, you know, to ramp it up, that's far too much hassle. There's a reason those machines have bulletproof glass, am I right? Now, the next tool, I don't pull out very often, but when I do, it comes in mighty handy. You're breaking these things. You break these because you, you, you fall asleep at the trigger or whatever. This is for a Renishaw probe, and this guy even more expensive. Or, or no, this is for a Hymer probe, and this is for the, the Renishaw Ruby tipped with the four millimeter ball. Expensive, wow. What I do is you pull this guy out. Hey, yeah, Prudence. She ain't gonna like it, but are those open hoof shoes you're wearing? Back to the office, foul beast. Now, if high school taught me anything, it's uh, shame and embarrassment is a fantastic learning aid. So what you do, you go ahead and uh, put the dingus end onto your probing tip. Uh, guys are gonna ask what kind of feeds and speeds. I would just say, you know, whatever feels comfortable 
you're going to want to start out pretty gentle and, and work your way up from there as you're uh, more and more comfortable with it. But you see, because it's, it's got a very soft durometer, you know, you can sort of whack it into your part there a day or two of practice with this thing and then you'll be ready to go back <laughs> to, the, to the expensive ruby tips. Well, those are my uh, three tools, but I can't do without. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. You know, this is a fantastic aid if you're a little bit rusty. We're all human. We all do it. And it's good to remind yourself to uh, be careful while you're touching off. <laughs>